everybody, in today's video we're going to show you how to adjust the front spring tension, adjust the caster, and also how to change the front springs. So as we mentioned before, these two holes on the top here, that's how you're going to access the screw to adjust the spring tension. These two slots on the front are how you're going to ac access the caster adjustment. So we got this body off of this car just to make it easier in the video and we're going to take the front wheel off here as well just to be able to show you things a little bit more clear for this video. So when you stick the wrench down through the top you're going to be looking for this screw head right here. That screw is how you adjust the spring tension on the front. Now with the body on there we recommend just kind of looking up through this area right here you can kind of see up through there and when you stick the wrench through there you can see the head of that screw and you can get the wrench lined up. When you do this a few times it's just going to become second nature. It's a little cumbersome the first couple times but you get used to it right away. So that screw as we mentioned is just threaded into the frame and you're going to just screw that screw in to add more tension or unscrew it to take tension away. Now when you do unscrew this there's a small plastic platform that's screwed onto the end of that screw. So when you unscrew this, when you just feel a little bit of tension on the screw unthreading it, stop right there. If you keep going, it's going to unscrew that screw from that spring platform, and that spring platform will pop out. That thing is super small, so you can lose it pretty easily. So make sure you watch for that. So that's how you adjust the, the spring tension. Now the caster, is very similar. It has a screw head that's right in here. Right there is what you're going to want to be looking for. We'll show you a front shot of that too. It's this screw head right here. And what that is is the screw runs through the upper arm and it has a nut on the back side so it captures the upper arm. Then the screw is actually threaded into the cross member right here. So as you run that screw in and out, it's going to take the upper control arm and it's going to move it back or it's going to move it forward. You move it back, you add more caster. You move it forward, you take caster away. So you'll just access through the slot in the front. You'll run that in to move the caster back, run it out to move the caster forward. Now one thing you really got to watch when you adjust the caster is that you don't go too far. If you go too far, what it's going to do is it's going to push the, the upper control arm onto the cross member and it's going to bind up the front end and we'll show you what that's like. So if you run that too far, you're going to push the suspension up and it's not going to come down. So if you do that, then just back it out just a little bit and you'll see the suspension come down. You'll want to check that every time you adjust the caster. If you have that too far and it sticks, the car will not handle right. It'll be t terrible to drive. So you always want to make sure that that's nice and free after you do this caster adjustment. Same thing if you run it all the way out. And you, and you run to the end, you're going to push it up and it's going to hit or it's going to stick. So then you just run that in until it comes down, check it a few times, make sure it's nice and free, and then you're good to go. We recommend for pretty much every track just starting with it in the middle position. Uh, what you can do is you can look right in through here. Uh, you can see the, the control arm right here has got a little bit of a gap there and a little bit of a gap there. Just get that gap even on both sides and you'll be good to start. Once you start adjusting that, we only recommend doing maybe a quarter of a turn each time till you get the car to, to your liking. Uh, don't go really big adjustments. And the same on the spring. There's The springs are pretty small. Uh, you can put a quarter of a turn on that and it makes quite a bit of difference. So we recommend starting, starting kind of small on those adjustments. So now to change the front spring, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop the lower or pop the steering uh, link off on the bottom here, off this spindle here. And with the body on, you're going to want to grab the top of the screw right here. We'll show you that. Just grab this top of this screw and you're going to unthread this nut. So you're going to just grab that. You can grab it with a pair of pliers. And again, you can do this with the body off, but if you want to do it with the body on and make a quick spring change, you can do that. So you're just going to unthread that screw, set that aside, and then you're going to push the, the upper control arm and the spindle out of the way. The next thing you're going to want to do is just pop this shock loose on the front end. you got to make sure that's loose because you want the control arm to come all the way down. So then make sure that your spring platform is all the way up. And after you get used to this a little bit more, if you do have spring tension in the spring and you don't want to you know, change that, but you want to go to a different spring, you can do that. It just, you know, once you do it a few times, you'll get used to it. But we recommend first few times you do it, back that off. 
So then put your finger up above the spring, just pop that out of there with the wrench, just like that, and it'll pop right out of there. Now this lower control arm has a hole in it. We'll see if we can get a good shot of that in the camera there. There's a, there's a pocket in there or a hole in the lower control arm and that's the spring bucket. That's where the spring goes and you want to, when you put the new spring in, you want to get it in that bucket first. So we recommend just grab the spring like this, go on each side of the arm until you get that spring in that bucket. And you'll do it, you'll have to do it if, you know, a couple times so you get the, get the hang of it. Um, the springs are pretty small, so they're, they're kind of hard to get used to, you know, in, in using. Um, if it's a little bit easier, you can always um, take the lower control arm off. But, uh, you know, if, if you try it a few times, you'll get it right back in there. And then just push it up until you get the, to make sure that the top is seated on that, that platform on the bottom of that screw. And then the next thing we recommend doing is hooking up the shock. And that shock will limit the travel of how far that arm comes down and the spring will stay in there a little bit better. Then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and put the spindle back in the lower ball here, the lower pivot ball, and then just thread the nut back on there until it's tight. And then hook up your steering link and put your tire back on and you're good to go and do your spring adjustment. So that's how to adjust the spring tension, adjust the caster, and also change the front spring. Uh, again, these parts are really small, so the first few times you do it, you're gonna you know, have a, a little bit of a tough time. Once you do it two or three times, you'll get the hang of it. Uh, it'll go easy to do that. And you don't change springs a lot anyway. They're, the cars, you know, once you're, you get a pretty good setup on your track, you're pretty much good to go. So um, if you have any questions on this or any, uh, Anything on the front end area that we didn't cover in this, just uh, shoot us our, an email uh, on our website or hit us up on our social media pages and we'll get back to you. If we find some common questions that people are having, we'll maybe do another bit video on this, but uh, should be pretty easy. Once you get the hang of all this, it, uh, it goes pretty smooth. So let us know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.